of the adjustments he had to make. Uh, but uh, you know, it's it's a it's an eye awakening for him to go to to Lithuania. But, uh, you know, it's a good place, good people, and uh, you know, it's again good basketball. How exciting is it to, to have an opportunity like this with this kind of tournament to have all four schools from what you work? Well, I think it's really exciting. I just hope the people gravitate to it. Uh, you know, I mean, I played in it back in the day in, in the old auditorium, and uh, you know, I, I think uh, you know Paul Schneider, and, you know, and, and Bill Maher. I mean, I mean, and, and the teams that support it with the uniforms, I think, has been fabulous for the area. And uh, you know, I think Buffalo is a great sports town, and I think we got a chance to see that. Uh, you know, at the NCAA tournament, where we had the best uh, attendance of any venue across the country. So, uh, you know, I think that's really special. And uh, I, I, I know I really appreciate it because I played in it and uh, I've been a part of it. I was at the, uh, the Buffalo Hall of Fame event a couple of last week, and, you know, it was the biggest crowd they've ever had at the convention center. And, you know, so uh, it, it's a great town. Buffalo's a great sports town. And, you know, you can just see it and they just hope, like I said, that people can gravitate to the uh, to the basketball programs because I think it's very good basketball. You lose a guy like Billy. Uh, obviously, he was tremendous for the program and your team. Yeah. How do you move forward and, and who fills the holes? Well, it's a challenge. I mean, uh, not only Billy, but the teams that we had the last two years. I mean, we won 41 games. Um, you know, it's tough winning games in any sport. And uh, so... You know, not only that, but we graduated nine guys. And that, to me, is really, really special uh, because these guys have an opportunity to not only play professionally, but they can fall back on their degree from Canisius College. So, you know, it's going to be a challenge for us. It's almost like we're starting all over with uh, so many newcomers. And we have a lot of new names that uh, it, people are going to have to, you know, get a chance to, to, to understand. but. That's all part of the process, and uh, you know when you come in and you win, and you know the year before I got here we only won five games, so uh, you know it, it's a it's a it's a rebuilding program and it's a rebuilding process. Who are some of those names that you're going to be leaning well, on? Well, Zach Lewis. I mean, even though he's a sophomore, you know he's a guy that's uh, you know we're looking forward to to really step up. Uh, Phil Valenti, you know he's. You know, even though he just hurt his ankle, so he'll be out for a little bit. But, uh, you know, he's a guy that should be a junior. Meanwhile, we redshirted him, so he's only a sophomore. Josiah Heat, you know, uh, he's a senior. Jeremiah Williams, uh, he didn't play last year, but he's a junior college player. Kevin Bleeker, you know, has been there for a number of years. So these are just some of the guys. And then we have a junior college young man by the name of Jamal Reynolds. So, you know, these guys that, uh, you know, we're looking forward to uh, – having them step up, but uh, we're going to have some growing pains. And, uh, you know, that's why they picked us where they picked us uh, in the league. And, you know, uh, you know, so it's just going to take us. we got to use November to help us for December and then December to help us, you know, as we continue to move in league play. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Yep, thank you. Thanks, Coach. Can you use some frequent flyer miles there? What's that? Oh, no, 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 a little bit of everything, you know. Coach, you got to ask a quick question. Yeah. Your thoughts on leisure suits? For, they mentioned that they want the coaches to dress up for this Big Four Challenge, too. What do you think? What do you mean leisure suits? They want, they want yeah, the coaches, coaches in the, dress in the authentic in... 70s gear. What do you think? Uh, <laughs> you might be in? I <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll do, you know, whatever. I mean, we, you know, it, it's, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's all fun. I mean, it's all fun and games, and I think uh, it's great for the, the city of Buffalo. I love Buffalo. People here are just really, really special. Mayor Brown, uh, Tony Masiello, Brian Higgins, uh, Terry Pagula, what he's done here is just uh, in the Pagulas, Kim Pagula. I mean, you, you can't ask for anything more special in, in, in sports across the country than what's going on in Buffalo, New York. I mean, this is really a... a tremendous, tremendous opportunity. And I, I really hope that the, the people here in Western New York really realize what's, what's happened in sports in Western New York. Because, uh, you know, you, you see what's going on across the country in so many places, uh, you know, having trouble and surviving financially. And, you know, it's just been so vibrant here. And I, I just can't thank 
you know, the Bagulas, and I, I can't thank the, the constituencies of, you know, Mayor Brown and, 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 and Brian Higgins and, and the people that are all involved with helping Western New York really advance itself uh, to being so prosperous. And I just hope people really enjoy what's going on. And, you know, in, in, in college sports, the amateurism is so special. I mean, uh, you know, with us coming down here and with us playing hockey right across the street and, you know, so many young people. I mean, it's, it's uh, I have two sons that I've coached and, you know, and I was glad that they grew up in Western New York and they got a chance to be a part of it. Um, but, uh, you know, it's a special place and, you know, we know we're going to have some growing pains and we're going to just work to continue to get better each and every game and each and every uh, situation. Jim, has it been weird at all just not having your sons there? Yeah, it's the first time in seven years that I've never I haven't coached my sons. You know, so it's a very, very different, very unique. Um, but, you know, the, the nice part about it is, you know, they both had great careers and, uh, you know, and, 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 you know, were able to do it the right way with being student athletes. And uh, they both had very successful careers uh, playing basketball. And, and now they're reaping the benefits with playing overseas. So, uh, you know, it's a special thing. And, uh, you know, I grew up in a family of, of eight kids. And, seven boys and one girl and uh, you know growing up in the projects of Brooklyn and my father didn't really have time to see us play you know because he was working to be a provider for the family so uh, you know to have two sons that you you have every single day that you're working with and developing was something that I, I can't you know I can't put a, a value or price tag on that but that is to me it's you know we'll have memories for a lifetime who's been impressed in practice so far well, Zach has really stepped up, Zach Lewis. Uh, I mean, even though he's a, he's a sophomore, and Josiah Heed has really been showing a lot of leadership, Kevin Bleeker, um, you know, but we, we're going to need everybody to step up. Jamal Reynolds is a guy that, uh, you know, he's a junior. Uh, but we got young guys. Jeremiah Williams is coming back, and, you know, he's a little bit of an older individual. And, but some of the young guys, I mean, people are going to, you know, they're, they're going to enjoy watching, you know, because I think that... Uh, you know, they're guys that, that can play. I mean, Phil Valenti has really been playing well, but he got hurt yesterday in practice, and he'll be down for a while. But, uh, you know, it's going to be a team effort. And, uh, you know, we really need the student body. We really need the fans to come out to really support this team. I mean, we're winning so many games the last two years. And, you know, we need, we need to, to make the uh, Kessler Center, you know, a special place like we did last year. And hopefully we can, uh, you know, catapult on our success from last two years. Who, who have you been rotating in at point guard? It's by committee. It's a number of guys. Cassius Robinson, uh, Jan Zielinski, young man from Poland, uh, Jeremiah Williams. Um, so it's it's going to be a number of guys. And you thought of moving up. Zach over there? Yeah, well, he's part of the, he's part of the committee. I mean, everybody's part of the committee. We, we're looking at everybody. Okay. Um, but, you know, with younger guys that we have, Adam Ware is – is a guy that uh, you know he's stepping up and working very very hard and you know but again it's 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 going to be a team effort it's not going to be one individual and that's the exciting part about coaching when you have so many guys that need to step up and each night is, it could be a different a different guy. What happened to Phil? He hurt his ankle in practice yesterday. Just like a roll. Yeah. Yeah. So. From a health perspective, are you okay everywhere else? So far? Uh, yeah, you know, we'll see. You know, Jeremiah was down over the weekend, and uh, so, you know, it, it's, it's, it's been a, a process. But, no, everybody else seems to be fine. Raven's down, right? Excuse me? Raven Owen, he's down? Yeah, I'll see. I'm sorry. Yeah, Raven hurt himself last week. Yeah, I forgot that. Yeah, he's down, and he's in a boot, too. So, you know, those two guys are down right now. So we, we got, we're down to 11 guys. Those other guys are also in boots? Who's that? Yeah, yeah, so... You yeah. talked about some of the young guys that the fans are going to be excited to see. Adam Weir obviously is a local.